everybody at least heard of the beloved characters Asterix and Obelix. They conquered the hearts of kids everywhere from Europe to America, right? Americans don't know anything about these characters. It's fine though. I can explain it. Asterix and Obelix were written by a French writer, René Goscinny. This guy. It was first published in the year 1959 as a comic book and soon gained its popularity in France. The comic book tells a story of a village in northern Gaul. The village constantly gets attacked by the Romans and every time the Gauls come out victorious. How? Well, there's a druid called Getifix and he makes the potion. That gives our heroes, Asterix and Obelix, superhuman strength. There's also a lot of other characters in the village, like the chief, who always gets carried on a shield. Or a Sunterix, the terrible bard. By the way, I have no idea how to say these names right. I am terribly sorry. I'm not gonna go into much detail with the characters because you can do that yourself if you're interested by checking out the comic books or the movies. Talking about the movies, nice segue, me. <laughs> There's a lot of them, and I'm not brave enough to try and watch all of them. That said, the first movie was released in 1967, and so far there were 18 films, counting four live action movies. Most of them said Poison Gal, but there are tons of movies where Asterix and Obelix go to Egypt or, for example, Britain. And don't forget that each comic book and each movie is its own story. These characters were a big part of my childhood, but just because you didn't enjoy them as a kid doesn't mean you can't enjoy them now. It's something you can watch with your family or by yourself or just not watch at all. I'm referring to the live action. Basically, watch it if you want. Bye bye.